I greet you in the name of 1,000 subscribers! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, today's video is for our fitness bunnies, our health freaks, and just those people who just feel like, you know, eating one healthy meal once in a while is going to clear their conscience. So, um, yeah, we're making a spinach rice and barbecue honey chicken. Um, yeah, this meal is also very quick, very easy, and it's just a way to spice up your starches and do something different with something as mundane and as boring as rice so yeah it's jam-packed with flavor just a few tips before we get into the video please number one don't ever cook your rice like don't do that no don't undercook don't overcook make sure that your rice is really like it's cooked perfectly because with this recipe finally if that makes sense like it must be separable must be loose so that you know it looks great and it just doesn't clump up and become weird but anyway yeah spinach is absolutely one of my favorite veggies and i paired it with some mushroom there let me not ruin the whole thing so yeah let us get straight into the video okay guys so we're in the kitchen now and to get started with our spinach rice and honey mustard chicken we're gonna start with the chicken there so what i want to show you guys is basically a hack on how to cut a chicken breast because guys chicken breasts are very thick you do not need to eat the entire thing relax so what i do is there's usually a flap over here i just remove that and i cut it off and then i take my breast i flatten it and then i cut it in half you see you just slice the chicken breast right through and then you have two. These are two perfectly okay portions for an okay human. You do not need to eat the entire breast. Now you have two breasts for two meals. Get on my get on my vibe, guys. Get on my vibe. Anyway, yeah. So what we're gonna do, I've done that to the rest of my chicken breasts. I'm there over here. We're gonna season all of them before putting them into the oven. I'm so sorry I'm making so many, but I'm cooking for my friends today. <laughs> But, um, yeah. I don't know what you ever know. I don't know what you ever know. I Um, all my chicken breasts and I put them on my oven tray now I'm just gonna put them into the oven I set my oven to about 180 on the grill function maybe but yeah so I'm gonna put those in there for about 20 to yeah 20 to 25 minutes and just until they're cooked all right up next guys I'm gonna make my marinade sort of sauce for the chicken um, I'm going for a barbecue honey sort of thing, so it's going to be very sweet and very sticky. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with um, some Steers barbecue sauce. I'm going to have to use a lot more than I would because I'm making more chicken. Okay, do that. I'm going to add some honey, regular regular honey, Ugh, if it actually wants to open. About a tablespoon or two. Um, okay, I'm gonna say salt in there, some pepper in there. Okay, next I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, just normal crushed garlic. Oh wow. About a teaspoon of garlic in there. Alright, so just to add some heat, I'm going to add in a bit of this peri-peri spice. And then to make sure that my sauce is sticky, I'm going to add some sugar. It's going to be really sweet, but you guys won't die. Alright, and then after that, I'm just going to mix everything together. Okay. You can really just make any sauce that you want. You can make a honey mustard, you can make a tomato, any sauce that, I mean, there are no rules in the kitchen, guys. 
but um, this is the sauce that I've chosen to make today. So I'm just gonna place that aside for when my chicken is ready and out of the oven. So guys, now the next, the most exciting parts, the, the rice. We're about to start making the rice. So what I'm gonna start by doing, okay, let me show you guys what I've done already. So I have chopped up some onions and peppers in here. I've chopped up some mushrooms. I've got like a few bunches of spinach. It looks like a lot, guys, but you know spinach just wilts when you cook it. So there's some spinach in there, and then I've already boiled some rice. So what I'm gonna start with is just adding some regular sunflower oil to our pan. Okay. And then after that, I think I wanna start with the onions pan and not everything. So I'm gonna add my onions here. Just to heat up. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is add some garlic. About a tablespoon now. Let's go ahead with the garlic. Okay. And then guys, you know what it is? You know what it is? The pain. The 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 one and only balava. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna use some fish spice that was referenced to in my previous video. So if you haven't watched that, go take a I am I need a spoon. Give me a second. Um, okay, so I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of my fish spice in here. Okay, maybe a bit more to be generous. And then I'm gonna add my orange pepper steak spice. Next. This was also mentioned in my previous video. So yeah, this is a family thing. If you're left behind, you have some catching up to do first. Besides the point. So then I'm gonna cook this until my onions are soft and everything is incorporated and ooh, it's a good time. I'll cut on my kids. I'm trying to shove a dot dot. Yeah, the party don't stop. Time to let go of everything you've been through. Hung it to fresh start. Treat it like your debut. It's your debut. I'm over I think my onions are soft enough. What I'm gonna do now is add my mushrooms. Yes. That's what I'm gonna do. Add my mushrooms. I'm just gonna season this with some pepper. The aim here is not to overcook anything, so it's a really, really fast meal. Literally, it's about five minutes. You know, we're in and out. We're in and out here. We're in a rush. After a lecture, it's before a test. It's before groove. It's a quick meal, guys. It's time for the star, my fave, guys. Spinach is my favorite vegetable. I think it is so versatile. You can do so much with it. I love it. Okay. So I'm gonna wait this for this baby to simmer down, you know, calm down, wait, and yeah. I know whichever, no, I know whichever, I know whichever, I know whichever. So I spontaneously decided to add the sachet of this mushroom sauce. What the spinach does is that when it cooks, it gives out a lot of water, it releases a lot of water. So, so just keep everything, you know, thick and wholesome, thick with two seeds. Um, I'm just going to add a bit of this, about a teaspoon, tablespoon or so. And these just taste great. So, yep. That goes in there. And as you can see, it immediately just soaked up all the water. Okay. As I said, the aim is not to overcook anything. So what's going to go in next is my rice. I'm just not sure how much I want to add in. Six shots, then she telling me she want more. Hey, she tried to roll the end door. I had to tell her don't bazaar, no so champion. As the final step, I'm just 
step, I'm going to add my yellow peppers just for color, for vibrance, and for crunch, of course. Um, I don't want these to be like fully cooked at all because no, we must have textures, guys. We're trying to be chefs here, so let's keep it 100. Okay, I'm gonna incorporate those in there as well. And that is it it's for our rice, guys. Okay, guys, it's time to take out our chicken from the oven. I've switched off my stove. Um, and yeah, this is basically what it looks like. Ooh, that pan is still on. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to oil, slightly oil my frying pan. Just a bit. Okay, and then before we get all excited we need to glaze our chicken here with the sauce okay so what we're gonna do is take our sauce and just basically coat our chicken with it i don't have one of those fancy brushes and stuff so you guys want a gifted girl come through but yeah this is basically what i'm doing you can do this on both sides of the chicken okay. Okay, so our chicken is looking saucy and done and ready. So what I'm going to do now is just take one breast. I'm going to slice it up for presentation purposes. Next, and then I'm just going to place this on my, on my, what's this thing? On my rice. Another one looking from the mm. mm -hmm. Yeah, at home. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I was supposed to taste everything together. Yeah, at home. Yeah, I know. So, here is our meal complete. Jiggy jiggy, heavy heavy, all the girls love me, oh like money, call me jiggy jiggy, heavy heavy, all eyes on me, Machiavelli, girl you got me speeding, yeah yeah, doing too funny. So now I'm just gonna go right in and taste the rice as well, get some pepper there for crunch. Mm. Yeah. Sorry guys, I definitely haven't had lunch. I'm really happy with how this came out. I'm really excited for you guys to try it and tell me what you think. That's uh, my yeah. Alrighty guys, so that is how our spinach rice and barbecue chicken turned out. I hope that you guys think that it looks great because it definitely tasted amazing. Um, but yeah, just in terms of substitutes and alternatives, I guess like if you're not really a big fan of rice, you could have used like couscous or something, which is more on the pricier side. I was also a bit mad at myself because I didn't add my chickpeas and they were right there on the table, but I wanted to add chickpeas to the rice for more texture, more, you know, kunz or suta. But anyway, yeah, I definitely do hope that the meal was affordable because, yeah, it's been actually, yeah, it's been actually, packs is very affordable, very cheap, especially when it's in season. Um, don't be afraid to add the spinach, guys, because it literally wilts to basically nothing. As you, as you saw in my video, I wish I had more spinach. But anyway, yeah. 
um what else for people who have been asking me for a lunchbox video this is definitely something that you could carry to school this is something that you can use for more meal prep so you just put it in small little lunchbox things put them in the fridge definitely that's what i'm doing with the spin tries for the upcoming week so um uh, yeah i really hope that you guys will try out this recipe let me know how it goes let me know how it tastes and i will see you next time on chef k